So we're kind of getting in midway into our discussion, but we've been talking about Project 5, and we've been talking about how to structure this uh, simple-ish program. Uh, we have a variable declaration of x, and then we have a print x. And so we talked about, okay, then what should our parse function return? Right? It should return a statement node pointer that points to a statement node structure that has a type of a print statement, has a next pointer of null because there's only one instruction, and that print statement then points to a print statement node, which has an ID that points to a value node, and that value node should have, because we know when we initialize x, it should have the value zero, and it also has a name that is a character pointer to the string x. Cool, so we've talked about that. And now the question that we're talking about is, what happens, how does things change when we have, let's say, an assignment statement before this that says x is equal to 42. How does that change things? So first, how would that change my statement node pointer? Anybody, you can modulate your voice. Just sound really deep. Uh, the type becomes an assignment statement. The type becomes an assignment statement? So is this going to actually change anything for this assignment. No. So everything, as we'll see, should stay in place. But let's kind of step back and start from here. So we have the statement node that we return, the pointer that we return. This is going to point to a statement node structure. And the type of that is going to be what? For which line? First line or the second line? For the first line. For the first line, it would yeah. be an assignment statement. Assignment. So, and it's what, assign underscore statement is yeah. the field. Mm -hmm. And what about next? What is next going to point to? It's going to point to that particular point in the program. The next, yeah, exactly. That will point to the next one. Perfect. Okay, this assignment statement node, what does this point to? This field. It's going to point to uh, the assignment statement. Perfect. Call an assigned node for now. What field does that have? The left hand side. I'm going to call that LHS. Operand 1. Op and Operand 2. And op. Op 2 and op. Op is the same. Op. <laughs> okay. So for a simple assignment statement, what would op be? So we don't have two operands, so what would op be? So op would be 0. So op should be 0. Cool. Then op2 should point where? Null. Should be null, exactly. Awesome. So, what are the types of left hand side and operand 1? Pointers to value nodes. Pointers to value nodes, perfect. So, where should the left hand side point to? It should point to that node up at the top. It should point here. And where should operand 1 point to? Operand 1 should point to that same value node. This one? Yes. So if I do this, what's the compiler going to do? When it's, what's the execution engine going to do when it sees I have an assignment statement? I look, I see that the operand is 0, which means I'm assigning from the value in op1 into the left hand side value. So this is going to do what? This is going to take the value inside op1 and copy that to the left hand side value. So it's not going to change anything. It's still going to be 0. So what's the problem there? You need op1 to point to 42 somehow. Yes. But do you, so like do you need to create a whole new value node for op1? You tell me. Does, okay, for a value node, is it required to have both name and value filled? What is the execution? Somebody look at execution and tell me, does it ever use name? I don't think it does, really. Sounds like you can make that be whatever you want, huh? So you, then you need to create a new value node that in the value node will point to and name is just going to be null. You want the name? 
name to be Noel? <laughs> Let's call it 42. <laughs> right, simple i2a, integer to ASCII. That'll return a string from an integer, so you can easily generate a string. It's just nice for debugging purposes, right? That way you know. Oh, okay. So now, the execution engine, right? And the really the key to success in this project is being able to draw these diagrams and then either by looking at the code of the execution engine, understanding how would this execution engine execute this. So here we have the statement node. We have see that it's an assigned statement, so we go to the assigned statement node. We see that the operand is zero, which means it's just an assignment from op1 to left-hand side. So what do we do? We go to op1, we take the value in that value node, which is 42, and we're going to copy it to the left-hand side's value node over here. Then we say, okay, I did this statement stuff. Now the program counter becomes the statement nodes next. Here. Now I say, what kind of statement is this? Oh, it's a print statement. Great. So I go to the print statement node, and I print out the ID's value. So it's going to print out 42. So this is the key, and this is why I'm recording this, because um, a lot of, so I actually talked about this earlier. You should never, you are writing the front end to this compiler, right? You should never be calculating or executing anything. When you see, when you parse this assignment statement, you shouldn't change x to be 42, because that's what the execution backend is supposed to do, right? All you're doing is setting up this intermediate representation so that everything can, can execute, right? And why this makes sense is eventually you'll have if branches and all this complicated structure, right? You won't know what this value of x is going to be. Right? That's why you have to actually execute it to see which branch it's going to go down. Um, so this is exactly how you want to set it up. Every instance of x in your program should map to a value node, the same value node. And that way, every assignment statement will update a value node, and every print statement that prints out that value x will reference that current value in that value node. So this is absolutely how you want to do this. Otherwise, you're not gonna, you're never gonna finish. I've seen people do this. Is they try to execute everything in here and try to fill it out, and it just you, you can't do it. Cool. Okay, we'll kill this. We'll see if there's any. Other